Welcome back everybody. In this episode of V-Man Reviews, we introduce you to the Wooshka portable wood-fired stove. Come along and I'll give you a closer look. So here is probably the closest competitor to the traditional Australian made Auspig portable wood fired stove. It pretty much does everything the Auspig does, but in my opinion is a lot better value. Now the standard items you get with the kit are a heavy duty cast firebox, heavy duty flat hot plate, a heavy duty grill plate, a vented door which is fantastic as standard, and also the stainless steel flue kit and a handy little travel bag. You can buy these through Bunnings or from the Wooshka website themselves and they're getting a really strong following. I discovered this particular unit from a Jayco camper trailer group I'm a part of and I never knew they existed so I went hunting around and discovered what they were all about. Now one of the big things I can see as far as a packaging point of view goes is its rectilinear nature. It isn't a cylinder or an awkward shape that makes it really hard to pack in your caravan, camper trailer or the back of the ute when you're travelling. It also gives you a really good cooking surface in that rectangular format because it's quite hard to cook things in a round circle. You've got a lot of wasted space that you have to infill with other little bits and pieces. So from that point of view, I love it. These are a little bit cheaper than the Auspig as well. And the big bonus is obviously the vented door that comes standard on them. So you don't need to go and buy any optional accessory to serve that function. They do, however, come with a whole pole of optional accessories, including a smoker box you can put on top now, a hot water system that goes in onto the side, and even an oven that clicks onto the flue. However, the general consensus there is it's not all that efficient. So it's probably better just to use as a bit of a warming oven while you're cooking everything else up and preparing for your meal. These portable wood stoves can be used for a whole variety of uses. Take the hot plates off, and it's a nice, easy, compact firebox that is located off the ground, which is a regulation for most camping sites these days. You can adequately control the flow of the air and the heat generated out of the firebox by opening the door or using the built-in vented closures on them. The flue has a spark arrestor, which again is required in a lot of national parks these days. We like to travel fairly compact, so we haven't got a lot of the options that I discussed just before. But there are a few things I have gotten recently that I think will be really handy. Let me show you now. Firstly, you have this heat bead basket that simply slots in and allows you to put heat beads in and cook on a rotisserie, which I'll show you shortly. You also have this neat heavy duty stainless steel wok or camp oven adapter. And what that does is it slips in over the top as well. And you can either place your camp oven directly onto the opening here to funnel the heat up into the base of your camp oven or also use a wok or a pot or something like that. What it does is it just allows you to focus the heat up onto the underside of what you're cooking with. Now one thing you will notice with the Wooshka products is everything is really heavy duty and well made. Such as this adapter which is for your rotisserie and this is one of the first accessories I did buy and we've used it quite a bit. It is fantastic. It comes with the standard rotisserie controller and obviously the rotisserie shaft that goes through as well. My one comment though, for a portable item, you would think this would be a two piece unit because it's extremely long, pretty much twice as long as the firebox itself. And it'd be so good if you could just screw this apart like a standard rotisserie and pack it away inside the firebox for transportation as well. That's probably my primary gripe with the whole system itself. Now let's get into the setup and operation show you what it's all about. Much like the Auspig, the Wooshka packs down into its own firebox. It does come with its own bag 
However, the general consensus is it's not really heavy duty enough. So I keep this to put all my other accessories in. And instead I've opted for a King's canvas bag, which is perfect for storing not only the Wooshka, but everything else that you collect to go with it. Now Wooshka's recently introduced their own heavy duty travel bag, which is great. It includes pockets for all your accessories and bits and pieces, but really it's still quite expensive at around that $100 mark. So I still tend to look to the King's canvas travel bags. They're cheap, they're big enough to put all your accessories in, and they're great value. So once you pull it out of this bag, it's simply a case of pulling the hot plates off, pulling out all the chimney pieces, then any brackets you might have stored in there, the controller for the rotisserie if you have one, and most importantly, the legs. Now the first step to set up the Wooshka is to put the legs on. I find it best to tip the unit onto its side, or even upside down if you haven't got too much rubbish inside it, and put the legs on that way. Now the legs have these really neat locking cams that go onto the base of the firebox, and these tabs which lock it all into place. Now to keep everything all nice and tidy, I actually store the tabs in a Ziploc bag. That way you can put them in the firebox and they're not gonna get lost and rattle around in there. So with the unit upside down, it's a simple case of putting the legs on, turning them around to lock into place, and then putting the locks in. And now you're ready to tip it back over. The flue or the chimney is made in sections. The base part that goes into your firebox is this really neat heavy duty stainless steel item with three little tabs and then the locator for the locking key, which you simply slide into the back of your firebox. Put the locking key in. And then it's simply a case of assembling the other sections. And just like that, you're pretty much ready to roll. Now, if you jump onto a few Facebook groups, you'll find that people do actually do some aftermarket offset flues, and that allows you to locate this unit under an awning or a roof if you're trying to do a cook in some wet weather, which let's be honest, is quite often during the middle of winter when you're probably using this. Don't forget to put this grate into the bottom of your firebox. It simply slides in diagonally and then sits on the channels at the base to let the air ventilate under the timber you're burning. Now you'll note there's all these little tabs on each side. These are the receivers for not only your hot plates, but the plethora of accessories that are available for these units. If you're doing a morning cook up, you've got the flat hot plate, which simply clicks in like so and creates an awesome flat rectangular cooking surface. Now this hot plate also clips into the side so you can use it as a layoff bench. And then you have the same heavy gauge steel, but with a grill that you can slide in back over the top and cook all your steaks. The Wooshka comes standard with this adjustable vented door so you can cook on it straight away and you don't have any additional costs. So these adapters simply slot on and click onto the side of the unit. Then you just set up your motor and you're ready to go. And just like that, you've got a nice little fire going. I'm just gonna let this simmer down, build up some hot coals and we'll cook up the dinner for tonight. Now, one little tip and trick that I do is I put the rotisserie spear on and then you can locate one of the prongs so it's centered or located nicely over the fire so that when you bring it over with the meat on, you don't have to go and adjust it too much and it doesn't get too hot. Now I'm doing something a little bit different tonight. I've put on some butterfly lamb. I haven't done this before, so I'm curious to see how it goes. Obviously it flares up with a bit of the fat coming down, 
but I think that's gonna come up really, really yummy. Now you could use the heat beads in the basket in this situation, but there is just something about the raw fire, the flames and the smoke that goes into the meat and makes it scrumptious. So it's time to grab a beer, sit down with your best mate, sit back and relax. You might also ponder what else you could cook on this, such as maybe a bit of brekkie. Or just sit around the fire and enjoy the peace and quiet. Right, it's just probed up at 145 degrees Fahrenheit with the old ink bird. So it's pretty much done. I'm gonna take it off now, wrap it up for a little while, give it a chance to rest. Ho oh, ho, I am starving. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty good. And that my friends is the review on our Wooshka portable camp stove. For your bang for your buck, I think it's a great little product. It's robust, I love its modular nature and all the accessories that clip onto it, how it packs down into a nice rectilinear form. It's a little bit heavy, but you need that from a durability point of view. Out of the box, it works brilliant. The dampeners on the door are fantastic. You can vary the flow and the temperature quite a lot. And really, as I've said a number of times, for the money, you can't go wrong. So as I said at the start, you can get these from Bunnings and also a few other camping stores plus Wooshka sell them through their online store, as well as all the accessories as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, put a few comments below, including anything else you'd like to see us review or any questions you have on this particular unit. And we'll catch you next time. But as I always say, get out there, stay safe and have fun. Thanks for watching.